you guys won't believe the real reason on why Takashi69 will be quitting rap. Make sure you guys watch this video fully through so you know everything that's going on with him. And also make sure you guys leave a like on this video right now if you guys are a fan of 6 9 and don't want him to quit rap. Also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you would like to join our iPhone X giveaway. Now lots of things have been going on lately with Takashi69 which could lead him to quitting music here in the near future. Today we're going over the reasons on why he could possibly be quitting and they're very serious reasons as well. I do want to mention that I am a fan of 6 9 and I do not want him to quit. But I did want to make this video because you guys were requesting it because there could be a, like a pretty high chance he will be quitting music. Now getting into the first reason on why Takashi69 could possibly be quitting music because right now is all the legal issues surrounding his name including how he could possibly be locked up for 15 plus years. Now if you guys haven't heard lately of Takashi69, him and his whole team have been locked up on some very serious charges that could keep him locked up for many many years, which would include ending his rap career. Now the charges being held on him currently are all federal, and he pleaded non-guilty to them which makes, will make the trial start in September of 2019. And now currently at this time of this recording, he has no bail set as well, so he will be sitting locked up in a cage for the next few months, which for a rapper who I believe doesn't have any pre-recorded songs, this could be a very scary thing, because if you have no music to put out while being away, then your career could end very fast, just because people will just start to forget your name, and then they will lose interest in you, and since you know your music isn't being put out there, your name won't be talked about as much online. I do want to put out though that 6 9 also did just release his 6 9 Dummy Boy album. It is a very good album in my opinion actually. I'm curious to know what you guys think. If you guys want me to make a few videos on it, make sure you comment down below. But he did just release his Dummy Boy album which will keep his name popping on the internet for probably a couple months. Just because all the features he has on it. He has a, fe he has a couple features from Kanye West. Which is pretty huge. I honestly was not expecting a feature from Kanye at all. So that is really cool that 6 9 was able to get that. So his name will be buzzing online for a bit. But if he doesn't have any pre-recorded songs, you know, to put out while he's away, that could be kind of scary for him in his career. If he is found guilty of all these things that are being held against him, he will be locked up for almost the rest of his life, sources say right now. So that is a very scary situation for Takashi 6 9 but one thing that has been, you know, said by his team of lawyers is that 6 9 is maybe working with the police and giving them all the information they need to either pin the case on other people. So if you don't really know what I'm talking about, he's practically kind of like snitching on other people that actually are the root of all these problems so then he could save his career. Now there was some things from TMZ and things like that quoting all that. That he has been working with the police and he got moved to a safer you know jail and location because he could possibly be working with them so i don't really know the specifics but that's just what's been said so he could be you know snitching trying to save his own career which honestly i could see why he would do that you know he's snitching on some people that don't have a career probably i don't know so he wants to save his career because obviously he's making millions so it does make sense to me but there's going to be, I know there will be people in the comments right now saying, you know, he's a snitch, la la it's whatever. Sometimes you do got to just think of yourself. Now this can either go one to two ways for 6 9 He can either have all of the charges that were placed on him erased because he's proving to the police that it wasn't him doing all this stuff. Or he will have, you know, bad things happen to him for snitching on him and his team. Which if you know anything about what happens to people when they snitch on their team, it doesn't really end well most of the time. It usually ends up, you know, with someone getting badly hurt. So that's that. I really want to know what you guys think of this situation. Do you guys think that he's snitching or not? Because from what I've read from online sources, like XXL Magazine and TMZ, it has been told that he may be snitching on his team. And if it is true, that this could end probably pretty bad for him. But I could see why he would do it because, you know, he's thinking of himself. He has a child and things like that. He doesn't want to be locked up for the rest of his life. You know, he has a career, he has a child, he has a girlfriend, 
all kinds of things so I could see why he would be doing that. Now jumping into the next reason on why Takashi69 could be quitting rap in the future is just because of his style of music. Now it's no secret that people get bored or sick of listening to the same music style over and over again or even just the same music artist for that matter. Pretty sure that this happens to many music artists where they will just kind of fall off because they keep making the same sounding type of music over and over again and it starts a downwards trend for people to stop listening to their music because it's just the same thing and I kind of feel like that's going to be what's going to happen to 6 9 Sure he's sort of a newer artist right now so he's still trying to figure out his sound and perfect what he's all about but he's been around for about a year now with his first hit being Gummo but people are already kind of getting annoyed of his music style because a lot of his songs kind of have the same flow to them unless he makes you know his Spanish songs. I actually have been kind of surprised as of lately because he either makes a song you know where he's screaming in it or you know he's you know he's singing I guess you would call it. He's either like you know soft singing or it's in Spanish so it's one of the three. A lot of people are prefer the screaming of 6 9 but a lot of like you know other people who don't like the screaming of 6 9 like the soft singing of 6 9 so it's kind of like a very confusing thing for him. I could see where it will kind of probably get annoying where if he puts out like a mixtape or an album, he'll have to do both or even, you know, all three because he wants to make Spanish music as well. Now, I could see where that would get annoying for him and probably stressful just because it's going to be hard to please everyone. But if you guys look at like a rapper like Drake or something, Drake, he kind of does have the same music style if you do think about it and you listen through all of his music. You know, he does kind of have two different styles. You know, he has that soft, you know, sad Drake kind of thing and then the regular rap. But it's not really that big of an issue for Drake because those two are, you know, they're pretty similar. But for 6 9 where it comes in where he has to soft sing and then scream in the next song and then have a Spanish song for the next, you could probably see where it's going to get very, you know, hard for him and it's going to get stressful. And not only that, if you're not focused on making, you know, one lane of music, your other lanes aren't going to be as good. So if he wants to, you know, focus on making the screaming type of music, his Spanish songs might not be as well because he's not perfecting that craft. And for music, if you guys are unaware, you need to be working at your set craft. So if you're, you know, you're like the Migos with all the ad libs and things, you got to be practicing that. You can't, you know, just stop for like a month to focus on something else. You need to be practicing your craft. Now getting into the next reason on why 6 9 could potentially be quitting the rap game is just because of the cycle of rappers that come in and out of the rap game. Now it's no secret that a rap career doesn't last forever, meaning that almost hundreds of rappers every single year, maybe even thousands of rappers every year, will get some clout on their music and then eventually just kind of fall off the face of the earth. You can even do your own research on this. There's probably almost close to a thousand rappers this year that have gotten clout off a song or two and then they kind of just fall off because they're not making music. Prime example, the man's not hot guy. I haven't heard a thing come out of him or any of his social medias since the song, you know, man's not hot. There is tons and tons of music artists that have had a song, you know, get some clout and then they just fall off because they can't make another song that is going to be good and is going to be, you know, up to that standard, even though the man's not hot song isn't, you know, the best thing, but still. This happens to many, many rappers. It even kind of happened to Soulja Boy a little bit, if you do think about it, if, and even kind of Designer and Fetty Wap, you know, they all kind of did fall off. I don't, I'm not sure if they're all making music now. I'm not really focused on any of them anymore. But if they are, make sure you guys let me know down below in the comments. That's just a couple I named off the top of my head. I don't even have it written down. But I know those three rappers I haven't heard anything for a long time. Other than Soulja Boy because he is kind of like an online meme if you do think about it. That's the only reason why I still know of Soulja Boy is because he's kind of an online meme. Not even because of his music. I don't even know if he's releasing music anymore. Now I am going to be ending the video here, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel if you guys would like to join our iPhone X giveaway, 
And if you guys are watching to this point right now, I want you guys to comment down below chicken nuggets because if you guys do so, I am going to go to your channel and check out your channel, you know, and tell you what you could do to build a successful YouTube channel just because you are watching my videos fully through. Now anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy. It's been District Trending and I'm out. Peace.